Hello, the wonderful people of YouTube. Retro Rewinder here, coming at you with another episode of Drive Time. If you're not familiar with Drive Time, it's a series of videos that I do um, where I film myself in the car because what I realized is that I spend more time wasting this time in the car just listening to music or whatever, um, and I thought it would be a good use of my time to film videos. Uh, the style of videos that I do on these Drive Times are normally... Um, I pose a question or a topic, and I talk about the topic for a minute, and then I throw it back to you guys in the community and hope that you guys comment. Um, I'm thinking about actually doing requests for video responses. I thought that might be neat as well. Um, so I've covered a lot of topics in the past. Today, I would like to t cover the topic of, are you a reseller? And I don't mean personally, are you a reseller? I mean when somebody asks you the question, are you a reseller? Um, when I first started collecting back in 2005, 2006 era, reselling wasn't even anything that was on my radar. I didn't have very much disposable income. I was a kid in high school, um, so I didn't really resell at all. Um, I would get money from working um, a Pizza King. Um, there's a restaurant called Pizza King here in Indiana. I would work there, get get a little bit of money, and then I'd spend a dollar or two on a video game if I'd find it in an antique booth or a garage sale. Never crossed my mind to buy other games to resell. I don't even think I was really worrying about if a game was worth anything back then. It was just, what, what could I play on my Nintendo or Sega Genesis? Um, so reselling was never really on my radar. Then as I got a little older, um, I started to get more into knowing the values of video games and realizing that if I wanted that Earthbound or if I wanted that Castlevania Dracula X, which I still never got, um, if I ever wanted those things, I was going to have to have more money to do so. So I started realizing that I could buy lots of games, um, and I don't mean lots, like, hey, I got a lot of games. I mean lots, meaning you buy um, a set amount for multiple items. So, you know, 20 games for 10 bucks or whatever the case may be. Um, that's kind of what got me into reselling. I'd buy a lot of games. I would keep eight of the games that I needed for my collection and I'd sell off the other ones. Then you start learning that what games sell for more and then you can, you know that if you're going to see that Super Mario World out at a garage sale for a dollar, you can buy it to flip it for 15 bucks and use that money for your collection. Um, that worked pretty well at the beginning and then, um, the more I did it, the more I realized that you'd have to, to have more money. So I started expanding my horizons and getting to other topics besides video games, just basically anything. It got to the point where anything that I could make money on, I'd go ahead and buy it. But there was always that question from people on Facebook or, or Craigslist at the time or garage sales. Um, do you sell? Like, are you, are you going to sell this stuff? And it always used to be a hard no for me. It was a flat out lie. Um, I would tell them, no, I'm not going to sell it. And the way I would justify that is, for the most part, I wasn't going to sell it. I was going to put most of it in my collection and then trade off or get rid of the other stuff that I already had. But I would always just tell them, no, I'm not going to sell it. I collect. Um, I, I would have pictures of my game room and my collections if they really needed to, a little more validation. It was always, here's a picture of my game room. I collect all this stuff. Back then, when I first started YouTube, it was also kind of a, a dirty connotation to talk about reselling. It was always the, those dirty resellers. People were less for it back then. Um, there was definitely some evil behind that word. People didn't like the idea of you know buying up all the Super Marios and turning a profit and selling them online. I think that's died down quite a bit these last few years. Um, but I was always kind of like, I'm not going to tell people I'm reselling. So when I buy stuff on Craigslist and now Facebook and even Goodwills, pawn shops, sometimes they'll just flat out ask you, so do you resell this stuff? And I always just kind of stuck with a hard no. Um, that's changed in the last probably year actually. And that's kind of why I wanted to film this topic. I want to know how you guys have, have uh, handled this question. Has your guys' answers changed from you know, years ago to now, like mine has, um, I definitely tell people I resell now. It's not something I always lead with, um, but I don't hide the fact. And I have found that 
it used to be a lot more weird if somebody asked you, well, are you gonna resell this stuff? Their prices always skyrocketed of what, of what they wanted. Um, now it seems like, um, I just did a Facebook deal yesterday and the, the beginning of the conversation, they had some video game stuff that I was interested in. So I messaged them about it. Um, we came up a price we came up with a price just for that stuff and then afterwards I told them hey by the way you know I resell on eBay and I buy I listed off all kinds of stuff I buy electronics I buy uh, computer equipment camera equipment and I just told them kind of everything that I'm interested in and said you know that I resell on eBay and if they had anything that they were looking to get rid of I like to buy in lots and bulk from people just because it makes it worth it more to go show up for a meeting if you're buying more than one item um, the lady responded very well and just started sending me pictures of all kinds of stuff. We ended up working out a deal for um, a pair of shoes, video game stuff, Polly Pockets, uh, Littlest Pet Shop. I got some antique toy tractors. I got all kinds of stuff from this lady. And it all, and it all happened because I told her I was a reseller. And the main reason I wanted to film this video is because we actually were talking um, in her garage six feet away about being a reseller and how some people still don't understand the, the fees associated with it, the time, um, the shipping costs, that's a huge thing. Like a lot of times people will look up, well this game's worth 20 bucks on eBay, uh, the, but yeah, that's free shipping and you're not accounting for the fees, so I can't pay you $15 for that $20 game and expect to make any profit. But it, that's an, a conversation that I wouldn't have had in the past. I would have not, I would have not felt comfortable talking about profit margins to somebody and I, I think the more I've done this and realized that being open about being a reseller opens up to more opportunities. So I pose this question to you guys. I'm, I'm really curious what you guys think. If you want to film a video response, um, that would be awesome. Just post it to your own channel. Um, just maybe give me a shout out and say this is what it's for. Uh, tag me in your Facebook post or Instagram post so I can make sure I see it. But yeah, I'm just really curious. What do you guys think about that question? Are you a reseller? Do you tell people that you're a reseller? Um, has your answer changed from the past till now? I'm really curious. This has been Retro Rewinder. Um, I hope you like me rambling in my car. I know it's nothing exciting, but um, I like doing these because one, it's easy to film, it's easy to edit, and two, I get to have more interaction with you guys in the community. So let me know what your responses are and I'll talk to you next drive. Thank you.